Imagine asking an AI database, how do I make chocolate chip cookies from scratch? In one setup, you might see this result. It's about cookies, but notice it focuses on troubleshooting common baking problems rather than to give you a complete recipe. But with another setup, you'll see something like this. It's a perfect step-by-step -step recipe, exactly what you're looking for. Same question, same database of recipes, yet completely different outcomes. What's the difference? The embedding model powering the search. In AI applications, your choice of embedding model can be the difference between finding exactly what you need or completely missing the mark. My name's JP and I'm an educator for Weaviate. And today, I'm tackling one of the most consequential decisions you'll make in building AI-powered applications, selecting the right embedding model. Now with hundreds of models available and new ones released every month, how do you navigate this landscape? In the next few minutes, I'll give you a framework that cuts through the complexity and helps you make an informed choice for your specific use case. Embedding models transform content, whether text, images, or other data, into numerical vectors that capture meaning. These vectors power everything from search and recommendations to classification and clustering. The impact of your model choice extends to three critical areas. First, performance. In our cookie recipe example, the older 2015 model achieved an NDCG score of just 0.595. Now, while a newer model reached 0.908, a dramatic improvement in relevance. Second, resources. For a vector database with 10 million document embeddings, one model might generate vectors requiring around 250 gigabytes of memory, while another smaller, efficient model might only require 25 gigabytes. And that has significant implications for your infrastructure costs. And finally, there are the operational aspects, including API costs, availability in different regions, maintenance requirements, and licensing considerations. So let me walk you through a systematic approach to selecting the right model. Start by clearly defining your requirements across four categories. One, data characteristics. What modalities are you working with? Text, images, or both? What languages do you need to support? Are you working with specialized domains like legal or medical text? Are your documents long research papers or short product descriptions? Performance needs. How critical is semantic accuracy versus processing speed? What's your expected query volume? Do you need real-time responses? Operational factors. What hardware do you have available? Will the model run locally or via an API? And what's your deployment environment? And business requirements. What's your budget for model licensing or API calls? Do you have any compliance, privacy, or data sovereignty constraints? By documenting these requirements upfront, you'll be able to make informed and structured trade-offs as you move forward. With so many options available, you need to narrow down to a manageable shortlist. Focus on models specifically designed for your modality, text, images, or multimodal data. Leading models from well-known providers like OpenAI, Cohere, or Google. Benchmark leaders on the MTEB or other relevant evaluations for your use case. And models that align with your operational constraints like size and compatibility. Aim for a short list of three to five promising candidates that meet your fundamental requirements. Now for the critical step, rigorous evaluation. Dive into standard benchmarks to compare your short list of models across metrics relevant to your application. Complement this with custom benchmarks using your specific data and representative queries. This doesn't have to be huge. Even a test set with 20 documents and 5 queries that represent your real-world use case can provide valuable insights. Look beyond average scores to understand where each model excels or struggles. Does it handle technical jargon well? How does it perform with shorter text versus longer? And are there particular query types where it significantly outperforms others? Combine both quantitative metrics and qualitative analysis to make your final selection. Remember that this isn't a one-time decision. The field is evolving rapidly with new state-of-the-art models emerging regularly, and your needs may also change over time. Set up a process to monitor benchmark leaderboards, track your application's performance metrics, and be prepared to reassess when significant changes occur, or maybe when your system's performance drifts. Here are three practical recommendations to improve your selection process. First, recognize that every use case is different. While benchmark leaders are a good starting point, always test with your specific data and queries. A model that excels on general benchmarks might underperform on your specialized content. Second, 
no way can make intelligent trade-offs. A classic one is the size-performance balance. While larger models generally perform better, the improvements may not justify the additional cost and complexity of your specific application. Sometimes a smaller, more efficient model delivers 95% of the performance at 20% of the resource. Third, look beyond averages. A model might have a great overall score, but perform poorly on the specific types of queries that matter most to your users. Examine performance across different query categories and prioritize what's most important for your application. To recap, identify your needs, compile a short list of candidates, perform detailed evaluation, and reevaluate periodically. Embedding model selection is not just a technical decision, it's a strategic choice that impacts your application's effectiveness, operating costs, and user satisfaction. Now, this video is an overview of our comprehensive guide on this topic available through Reviate Academy. For an in depth guide with implementation details, code examples, and evaluation metrics, visit the Weaviate Academy section on embedding model selection and evaluation. You can find it through the weaviate.io website, or you can use the link in the description. We'd love to hear from you. Do you have questions or want to share your experience with embedding models? Leave a comment below or connect with me on LinkedIn. Thanks for watching and happy building with Weaviate.